Times Now Politics. Poll of Polls. Well, good evening and welcome. All the voters have cast their ballots. Uh, we are going to put the exit poll numbers out in about 25 minutes from now as per election uh, commission guidelines. We have to wait till a half past five before we have the numbers out. Uh, with us in the Times Now newsroom, we began getting the exit poll numbers and the trends. One o'clock, uh, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. We've been getting updates from some time now. And we have uh, several exit poll results with us. We're going to hold it for another 25 minutes. So thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to this special telecast. With me here on our poll of polls telecast, let's start from the left. Navika Kumar, Times Now's political editor. Uh, and May Lord Meghnath Desai is here. Hartosh is back with us. Manisha Priyam, Arti Jairat. It's very nice to see you. Saba is coming back with us. She was away in Japan the last time. She missed out on the last program. Good to see you back. Ajay Bose, welcome back. Shesh Narayan Singh, senior journalist who's been tropezing all over Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Uh, no frequent flyer miles there, but he's done a lot of groundwork. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Our resident pollster, cephologist, statistician, software developer, scientist, and genius. Uh, Jay Mrook is with us today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Jay, I have never been known for understatement, so don't, don't look surprised with that kind of an introduction. You can return the favor at a time that you consider appropriate. Absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Raja Gopalan predicted uh, general... seat uh, next to Jam Rook, <laughs> looking around for his mind, and I love this round of introductions between two cephologists. <laughs> he's take an old pal, seat. he's an old pal. Take your seat. Yes, and I know, I know you're late. <clears throat> That's all right as long as the numbers are right. I know, I know. And, and, and if the numbers are right, you get the credit. And I tell you one thing, if there's it. one person, he's a, <laughs> uh, th there, is, there is one thing I want to say about Yashwan Deshmukh. He is Yogendra Yadav's favorite man on television. <laughs> and so is he of the Arvind Kejriwal and Shazia Elmi and everyone else. The second most favorite person after having run some clips of a sting operation recently is yours truly. Thank you very much, Yashwan. Good to see you back. And the breaking news this evening is that uh, Arvind Kejriwal has taken off for a seven-day Vipassana course. And uh, therefore, does that mean, Pooja Shali, that he won't be at the press conference where the Ahmadmi party is, I'm told, declaring its victory? Pooja, all... Yes, go ahead. Pooja. Shrival, in fact, is uh, leaving for the Vipassana meditation cause. He's apparently also... The, this is in many ways a spiritual retreat for him after the polls. But what we are being told is that it's not going to go on for the next seven days. It, he'll, of course, abrupt, uh, end it abruptly uh, for the next four days. He will be in Haryana. That is where the Vipassana meditation course will be on. Uh, he, this is a break for him as uh, he would like to claim after the, the work that he has done over the past few months. And uh, But he would be there most certainly on December 8th when the poll results are announced. That is something that he would not want to miss. Whichever way the uh, results goes, Aam Aadmi Party even now would like to claim that uh, the voter turnout, the percentage is because of Aam Aadmi Party's efforts, whatever be the result. And certainly Arvind Kejriwal going on in this, uh, uh, going on with this retreat, a spiritual one as he would like to claim the meditation course for the next four days. Back to you. And on the, following the BJP camp, Tavleen and Aishwarya with the news that Vijay Goel has gone to meet Sushma Swaraj saying, I want a slice of the credit. Maybe they are smelling victory out there. Yes, it's over to you, Tavleen and, uh, and Aishwarya. Tavleen, to you first. Yes, in fact, Arnav, uh, we are reporting from the central BJP office. I have Sanjay Kaul of the Delhi BJP also with me. Uh, Vijay Goel is meeting Sushma Swaraj. Uh, you know, th they, there was always a sense that uh, the leadership issue was a problem as far as Delhi unit is concerned. And somewhere or the other sense was that you were quite late in announcing Harshwadhan. Do you think you'll have to pay the price or, or uh, it's the other way around and the high voter turnout will only benefit you? So from all estimates, the fact of the matter is that the leadership uh, announcement, I wouldn't like to say a change because there was no change actually. The announcement of the CM candidate went in our favour and I think that has been qualified more than once now. 
uh, on, on, uh, as, as regards uh, uh, you know, our, our president meeting a, a senior member of the party, this is completely natural and normal. Mm -hmm. The important thing is to um, understand that the BJP expects to do well and uh, that, that has been a consistent theme, uh, only, uh, particularly after Dr. Dr. Hashwadan joined the, uh, the election campaign as a CM candidate, it's always been an, it's a, it's been an upward journey for us. Okay, uh, Arnab, uh, it seems whether it's, uh, you know, the BJP has underestimated Arvind Kejriwal, that's a question that will be answered on 8th, uh, but it seems as of now the BJP is quite upbeat of the voter turnout that we've seen. Well, thanks very much for that. Thank you very much. Uh, exit poll numbers once again are with us. We are going to put it out and uh, con conferring about the numbers in one corner out there is J Jayam Rook and Yashwan Deshmukh. And uh, just want to comment, you're looking at the numbers. You don't need to tell us what the numbers are, but what do you think about the 62% polling in Delhi and the 74% plus, which I think we've seen? What, what, gentlemen, is your estimate of those numbers? What I does think it indicate? That, uh, from Ahmadmi's perspective, it would be a bit disappointing because Why? we must have been expecting roughly about 70% turnout, which have been in other states. Uh, I mean, uh, keeping in mind that uh, they have high hopes on the new voters at large. But let me tell you one thing, Anab, that in the last couple of years, post Anna movement, we have seen a huge jump of 10 yeah. to 20 percent. Yeah. And I give this high turnout credit totally to that kind of social movement, yes. which has encouraged so people this, to this at numbers, least come these, out and vote. These numbers go in the Aman Bihar party, Skitty? No, not, not necessarily, or not. If we look at India's age pyramid, <laughs> as yeah. per the census, yeah. we have a huge bulge in the 18 to 25 bracket already. Yeah. It's that bulge which is showing up in the turnout now. Okay. So it's not necessary for a party. It's that bulge. It's that demographic bulge at the bottom yeah. of the age pyramid that's showing. And up. to add to that, yeah. Arnab, just one thing that uh, uh, the conventional wisdom that the uh, the high turnout is equivalent to anti-incumbent anti verdict doesn't hold true. There have been really high turnout <laughs> in some of the very good pro-incumbent verdict in the last two years. Okay. I have just so, one question for you because at about uh, 520, 5.30 exactly, we'll put out the 1 p.m. figure that you have of C voter with you. You have the numbers there with you as well. Tell me, how accurate is a 1 p.m. figure? How much variation happens? So the number that viewers are going to see 15 minutes from now or 20 minutes from now, is that the large eventual exit poll number broadly there around There could that? be. Generally, there is not much, but there <laughs> could be in case of Delhi, okay. simply because that uh, the, 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 uh, the, the excitement or the enthusiasm level of certain parties were certainly much higher than the other parties. So I am expecting that uh, in the first half of the day, yeah. AAP <clears throat> and the BJP might be scoring well, but in the second of the way, I am it expecting the Congress to do well. Okay, uh, do so, 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 you know, look at the top part of your screen out there, as we said, unconfirmed reports are the political buzz they tell you the story if you watch our screen right now we are putting out an unconfirmed report about Arvind Kejriwal's backup option of uh, contesting the Lok Sabha elections that's come from one of our reporters out there we will get you the update on that story the moment we get it uh, ladies and gentlemen let's let's throw it open to you out here now tell me what do you make of the voting pattern that you've seen in Delhi any comments any of you yes make another side I think because the voting turnout was not as large as Ahmadmi expected yes. They will take votes away from Congress, but they will not win many seats themselves. So you're not say, you're saying there's no surge in voting. A 70 percent number would have seen a huge Ahmadmi party surge. Hartosh, what do you think? Well, the number will be higher than 62. <coughs> this usually happens that by the time the figures collate, it goes yeah. to a much higher number. So I think we have to still wait on that. If it crosses 65, then you have to sort of hedge your bets. So yeah. we have to wait on that number. But here. the emergence of a third party would have raised expectations, would it? Have? Absolutely. The buzz really in the urban centers of Delhi has been for the Aam Aadmi Party. So that, those are the pockets that the Aam Aadmi Party is really looking at. Uh, it is really in the rest of Delhi how it pans out. Uh, that's where the BJP will keep its eyes on because <coughs> urban centers really uh, probably looking uh, more, more uh, towards the Aam Aadmi Party as an alternative. And this is the first time we've had a third force in Delhi to look at. And that's why there's such a cliffhanger as far as Delhi is concerned. Which way is Delhi? election going to go all depends on how much Aam Aadmi Party hurts both Congress well, and the BJP. With one, one point to remember to our, for all our viewers that this election is happening at a time and that's the voter turnout that we have right now. Look at the comparison 62% this time 57%. 2003 53.4%. Historical perspective on this number ladies and gentlemen is that if I'm not mistaken in 1993 the figure was close to about 62% if I'm not wrong. What were the circumstances in 1993? Let me put that to you. 
1993 jay the figure was close to this number about 62 percent i'm told yes order 1993 was the first election for the assembly of delhi delhi ko peri bar rajya ka darja mila i mean there was also it is the first post babri election precise so huge turn there was a surge surge you then consistently see fatigue coming in yeah and now suddenly with the bulge in the age pyramid and as he said the consciousness of democratic rights creates now yeah but there is no ayodhya factor this time there is no more mobilization or polarization of that kind right which means if you've touched the number of 1993 then something else is happening and presumably the gainers in 1993 were the bjp absolutely with the gainers this year with the amadmi party arthi you've been yes, a constant I supporter so i think the 62 figure is definitely going to go up you because think so? anecdotally or now there's been so much excitement in delhi i mean I, the kind of people who have not voted but turning out to vote this time and i'm sure this figure is going to go up and i think the amadmi party i stick to my original uh, you know what i said on your show many many weeks ago <laughs> i think the aam aadmi party is going to spring a big surprise in delhi uh, what's the time by a watch arti i think we are heading to about uh, what's the time on air time right now it's, it's we are 510 so we are ladies and gentlemen just we are staying by the election commission rules 18 minutes from now we will put out the first exit poll for delhi within 10 minutes of that we will put out the entire exit poll for chatisgarh times now politics poll of polls There's no anti-incumbency at all. It's what you all are saying is anti-incumbency. If there was anti-incumbency, it should have been in the second or the third time also. There was no anti-incumbency. और कई मायनों में ये आज का चुनाव ordinary चुनाव नहीं है. ये काज बहुत बड़ा आंदोलन बन गया ये चुनाव, जिसमें ordinary लोग जो हैं वो हिस्सा ले रहे हैं. ये हमारे मेरा चुनाव नहीं है. ये आम आदमी पार्टी का चुनाव नहीं है. ये लोगों का चुनाव बन गया है.